The altar. Make an altar of acacia wood. Make it seven and a half feet square and four and a half feet high. Make horns at each of the four corners. The horns are to be of one piece with the altar and covered with a veneer of bronze. Make buckets for removing the ashes, along with shovels, basins, forks, and fire pans. Make all these utensils from bronze. Make a grate of bronze mesh and attach bronze rings at each of the four corners. Put the grate under the ledge of the altar at the halfway point of the altar. Make acacia wood poles for the altar and cover them with a veneer of bronze. Insert the poles through the rings on the two sides of the altar for carrying. Use boards to make the altar, keeping the interior hollow. The courtyard. Make a courtyard for the dwelling. The south side is to be 150 feet long. The hangings for the courtyard are to be woven from fine twisted linen, with their 20 posts, 20 bronze bases, and fastening hooks and bands of silver. The north side is to be exactly the same. For the west end of the courtyard you will need 75 feet of hangings with their 10 posts and bases. Across the 75 feet at the front, or east end, you will need 22 and a half feet of hangings, with their 3 posts and bases on one side and the same for the other side. At the door of the courtyard make a screen 30 feet long woven from blue, purple, and scarlet stuff, with fine twisted linen, embroidered by a craftsman, and hung on its four posts and bases. All the posts around the courtyard are to be banded with silver, with hooks of silver and bases of bronze. The courtyard is to be 150 feet long and 75 feet wide. The hangings of fine twisted linen set on their bronze bases are to be 7 and a half feet high. All the tools used for setting up the holy dwelling, including all the pegs in it and the courtyard, are to be made of bronze. Now, order the Israelites to bring you pure, clear olive oil for light so that the lamps can be kept burning. In the tent of meeting, the area outside the curtain that veils the testimony, Aaron and his sons will keep this light burning from evening until morning before God. This is to be a permanent practice down through the generations for Israelites. The Vestments Get your brother Aaron and his sons from among the Israelites to serve me as priests, Aaron and his sons Nadab, Abihu, Eliezer, Ithamar. Make sacred vestments for your brother Aaron to symbolize glory and beauty. Consult with the skilled craftsmen, those whom I have gifted in this work, and arrange for them to make Aaron's vestments, to set him apart as holy, to act as priest for me. These are the articles of clothing they are to make, breast piece, ephod, robe, woven tunic, turban, sash. They are making holy vestments for your brother Aaron and his sons as they work as priests for me. They will need gold, blue, purple, and scarlet material, and fine linen. The ephod. Have the ephod made from gold, blue, purple, and scarlet material, and fine twisted linen by a skilled craftsman. Give it two shoulder pieces at two of the corners so it can be fastened. The decorated band on it is to be just like it and of one piece with it, made of gold, blue, purple, and scarlet material, and of fine twisted linen. Next take two onyx stones and engrave the names of the sons of Israel on them in the order of their birth, six names on one stone and the remaining six on the other. Engrave the names of the sons of Israel on the two stones the way a jeweler engraves a seal. Then mount the stones in settings of filigreed gold. Fasten the two stones on the shoulder pieces of the ephod, they are memorial stones for the Israelites. Aaron will wear these names on his shoulders as a memorial before God. Make the settings of gold filigree. Make two chains of pure gold and braid them like cords, then attach the cord chains to the settings. The breast piece. Now make a breast piece of judgment, using skilled craftsmen, the same as with the ephod. Use gold, blue, purple, and scarlet material, and fine twisted linen. Make it 9 inches square and fold it double. Mount four rows of precious gemstones on it. First row, carnelian, topaz, emerald. Second row, ruby. Sapphire, crystal. Third row, jacinth, agate, amethyst. Fourth row, beryl, onyx, jasper. Set them in gold filigree. The twelve stones correspond to the names of the Israelites, with twelve names engraved, one on each, as on a seal for the twelve tribes. Then make braided chains of pure gold for the breast piece, like cords. Make two rings of gold for the breast piece and fasten them to the two ends. Fasten the two golden cords to the rings at the ends of the breast piece. Then fasten the other ends of the two cords to the two settings of filigree, attaching them to the shoulder pieces of the ephod in front. Then make two rings of gold and fasten them to the two ends of the breast piece on its inside edge facing the ephod. 
Then make two more rings of gold and fasten them in the front of the ephod to the lower part of the two shoulder pieces, near the seam above the decorated band. Fasten the breast piece in place by running a cord of blue through its rings to the rings of the ephod so that it rests secure on the decorated band of the ephod and won't come loose. Aaron will regularly carry the names of the sons of Israel on the breast piece of judgment over his heart as he enters the sanctuary into the presence of God for remembrance. Place the Urim and Thummim in the breast piece of judgment. They will be over Aaron's heart when he enters the presence of God. In this way Aaron will regularly carry the breast piece of judgment into the presence of God. The Robe Make the robe for the ephod entirely of blue, with an opening for the head at the center and a hem on the edge so that it won't tear. For the edge of the skirts make pomegranates of blue, purple, and scarlet material all around and alternate them with bells of gold, gold bell and pomegranate, gold bell and pomegranate, all around the hem of the robe. Aaron has to wear it when he does his priestly work. The bells will be heard when he enters the holy place and comes into the presence of God, and again when he comes out so that he won't die. The turban, tunic, underwear. Make a plate of pure gold. Engrave on it as on a seal, holy to God. Tie it with a blue cord to the front of the turban. It is to rest there on Aaron's forehead. He'll take on any guilt involved in the sacred offerings that the Israelites dedicate, no matter what they bring. It will always be on Aaron's forehead so that the offerings will be acceptable before God. Weave the tunic of fine linen. Make the turban of fine linen. The sash will be the work of an embroiderer. Make tunics, sashes, and hats for Aaron's sons to express glory and beauty. Dress your brother Aaron and his sons in them. Anoint, ordain, and dedicate them to serve me as priests. Make linen underwear to cover their nakedness from waist to thigh. Aaron and his sons must wear it whenever they enter the tent of meeting or approach the altar to minister in the holy place so that they won't incur guilt and die. This is a permanent rule for Aaron and all his priest descendants.